Folks, once again, welcome to the 2016 Louisiana Salt Corner Series brought to you by the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. If you have kids here today, bring them over to the big fish tank operated by the Audubon Institute. John and Chris are up there. They're tagging redfish. They're one of the best, most efficient, and best looking tagging teams in Louisiana. The kids can look in the window and see the redfish swimming around. What they're doing is they're taking their live redfish that were brought in, tender for competition, tagging them, and we'll release them right here at Trade Winds Marina after we award all the winners. Well, because when we, when we get them all in there, then we're going to let them, we're going to let them go back in the water and they can go swim again. Today we're assisting the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries with their Louisiana Saltwater Series Redfish Tournament. It's a competitive uh, event. People submit quite a bit of money to enter. You know, two, two people per boat and they go out early in the morning, catch the two largest redfish that they possibly can between the lengths of 16 inches and 27 inches, which is the legal slot limit. Yeah, 8.43. Woo! All right. Yep. Good fish. Good job. The two heaviest fish win all the money. And our role is to revitalize the fish after they've been weighed in, let them recuperate a little bit, tag each one of them, and release them back to the wild. It's somewhat of a bait and switch, if you will. We're, we're tricking these anglers to get coming down, going out and fishing and catching some really healthy, fat redfish and bringing, us, bringing them back to us so we can tag them and put them back into the water swimming towards scientific research. It's a match made in heaven. Audubon has tagged since we begin this effort probably about 12,000 redfish. Uh, catch and release allows us to to get, gather data from the animal and we put a tag in it if it's caught later. We learn where it traveled, how much it grew, how much it weighs. And, and that information is key to regulating the fishery across, uh, across the state. The Audubon has been doing this now for since 2002. It's very gratifying to, to assist in not depleting the resource. Probably the best part is the conservation outreach potential. When people see our, our fish transport unit full of live, healthy redfish with tags in them, it gives them a greater appreciation for the animal. You know, the, the, the neat thing is we're putting a dart tag in a fish, it's swimming off from here, and uh, at some point it's going to be caught, and the angler that catches the fish, if they read the, the, uh, the text on the tag, they'll see that they have a phone number to call. They'll call the phone number, they'll report the fish being, being recaptured or recaught, and they get in a full report on where the fish was originally tagged and where, the, where they caught the fish. How long it was, how far it, how far it swam, uh, the difference in its weight. You know, it's a, it's a neat deal. The scientists are using this information to make sure that we have redfish to catch, make sure that our kids and grandkids have redfish and sports fish to catch in the, in the future.